Hello guys, this is Mantrix Ray, and I'm showing you a legendary weapon called High Capacity Dauntless Sandhawk. I will be showing this weapon off in action, and also will be doing some first impressions. It's level 57 with 7,507 times 9 damage, 73% accuracy, 38% handling, 2.4 seconds reload time, 7.31 seconds fire rate, magazine size is 24, and the red text says Wedge a Pig. Plus 21% weapon fire rate, plus 15% reload speed, consumes 2 ammo per shot, 2.2 times and 3 times weapon zoom, irradiated enemies damage enemies around them, anointed gunner. After exiting Iron Bear, the next two magazines will have 125% bonus uh, incendiary damage. It's a dull sniper rifle with 6,306 damage per second at 16% chance. I got this weapon from a boss called Katagawa Jr. in the area called Atlas HQ. And the legendary effect on this gun is fires a line of 9 projectiles, semi-auto and tight spread, 3 round burst and widespread. Um, it cuts off after that. And you have to kill Katagawa Jr. on Mayhem 6 or above. I got this on Mayhem 10. This is the stats for Mayhem 10 as you guys see right now. As you guys see, I'm on Mayhem 10 with uh, all these modifiers and those stats. Now, let's give this gun a shot. Now, there's only one big major problem with this gun, is that it runs out of ammo extremely fast. You can get this gun in all elements as well. So here's the legendary effect. When I shoot it, it shoots off the uh, Sandhawk effect. Now, keep in mind, this actually was a gun um, in Borderlands 2, back in 2012's DLC 1's um, Pirate's Booty. I got it way back in the day, and it was nice. It was a pretty nice SMG. Um, now it's a sniper rifle, not an SMG anymore. Now, since it's a sniper rifle and not an SMG, the uh, ammo capacity is extremely uh, on the shy side. It's very uh, small compared to um, to the 1,500 bullets or 1,800 bullets you can get on the SMG version. Also, I noticed that the bullets don't actually spread out when you start shooting it. it it's not like the Sandhawk, like in Borderlands 2. But you guys can see that the damage on this gun is actually really uh, impressive, but the magazine size is not too bad. It's just the overall ammo consumption is just extremely expensive. I would have much preferred this gun to be at times one, or like, you know, one bullet per shot with a nine times multiplier. But at that point, um, the gun, it will be probably too good. Or maybe it's probably not too much better, but once again, I ran out of ammo already. So I'm just going to run over here and do one more round. Look, if it consumed one bullet per shot, um, yeah, it would be ridiculously powerful. But then again, if you just want to have more ammo, that would be uh, very nice and ideal. But once again, this gun's very powerful, so you just have to conserve your bullets to make this gun worthwhile overall. Because the damage is really there. The damage is really, really up there. And I'll probably run out right here. And there we go, we're done. So that's three... Um, that's three refills I had to do in like two minutes. Like, it's not great, but other than that, it's, a, it's overall a pretty good gun. Thank you guys for watching, and see you later.